variables come in different data types. A simple data type is a variable that holds only one value at a time. A structured data type is a variable that can hold multiple values under one name. An array is a structured data type. An array is a lot like a motel. It's a collection of rooms, each with its own room number, or index location. Things, like people and furniture, can occupy these rooms. A good way to conceptualize an array is to imagine a row of boxes. Each box is labeled with an index location, starting with the number 0. Each box, or index location, can hold one value. For example, 64 is indexed as element, 0, 68 is located in the array as element, 1, and 72 is located at the index location, 2. An array is a finite collection of values of a single data type. For example, an int array can only contain n values and a char array can only hold single characters. Here is an example of an int array. All elements inside this array are integer type. My array is the identifier, or name, of the array. The size of the array is the number of elements it can hold. This array contains three elements. What's not allowed is an unknown array size. You must always specify an array size. The size of an array cannot be unknown since the computer needs to know how much memory to allocate to the array. Your RAM won't know what to do if you don't specify an array size. If you want to change the size of an array, you need to use pointers to create dynamic arrays. Dynamic arrays are expandable arrays that can only be created during runtime. Dynamic arrays are advanced and not covered in this lesson. Right now, we are only concerned with learning the basics of arrays. There are two ways of assigning elements to arrays. One is by defining the array to hold certain values. You can also load values into an array after defining it. When defining an array with elements, use curly brackets to denote the data set. Note that if you are defining a char array, you must surround each element with single quotes. Users can enter values from the keyboard using a CIN statement. The other way to input values is by using assignment statements. This involves using an equal sign, also known as the assignment operator. Aggregate operations are calculations that treat a group of values as a single value. For example, multiplying a set by 4 to make all the members of the set 4 times bigger in a single equation is an aggregate operation. Aggregate operations are not allowed for a C++ array. So, how do we perform operations on arrays if we can't manipulate all the values at once? The answer is, we must change one element at a time. We can accomplish this with a loop. For example, we can use a loop to load the contents of one array into another. <laughs>